For this video, we're going to be developing latent prints with magnetic powder. The tools that we'll be using for our magnetic powder development of latent prints are our magnetic powder and the magnetic powder wand. So the way that this wand works is that there is a magnet at the end of this plunger. And when this plunger is fully depressed like it is now, the magnet's at the base and therefore we can pick up the magnetic powder. When you want to release the magnetic powder at the end, all you do is pull up on the plunger and it should fall right off. So we're gonna start with it depressed so that we can pick up our powder and on this blank sheet of white paper, we have some fingerprints to develop. So let's open up our powder here and with the plunger depressed so the magnet is at the base, we're gonna pick up a fair amount of our magnetic powder. And you're gonna to wanna to just brush this lightly across the surface. You don't want to drag this so that the base of the wand is touching the paper, otherwise you can ruin your prints. And when you're developing with magnetic powder, you wanna remember that magnetic powder is a little bit more abrasive than regular black powder because of the iron in it and it can actually wear away at the uh, latent print that you're developing. So you wanna be careful not to overdevelop and wear away your print. You can see this is developing nicely. And that looks good. Now that we've finished developing our print, let's go ahead and put the rest of this back into the pot. Let's hold it right over the top, pull up on the plunger, see it all falls off. And now we can go ahead and depress it again and clean up any mess that we have made here. Get this extra off of the surface that we have developed. Make sure we don't have any big chunks lying around. And go ahead and empty that right back in. And there's no mess, no waste. For more information on fingerprinting and other crime scene investigating techniques, please visit our website at the Crime Scene Investigator Network. Thank you.